<clears throat> Look at this beauty. No, oh, Peter, please make another Sonic video. You know, a lot of great games came out this year that I could have spent my money on, but does Spider-Man have six face buttons? Does Spider-Man have a bolly wobbly thing? Does Spider-Man play Sonic Jam? Sonic Jam released in 1990-something for the slightly less than popular Sega Saturn. This is pretty much the equivalent of a Nintendo 64, but it was from Sega. It boasted some pretty cool innovations, but didn't last that long considering Sega threw out the Dreamcast not super long after the Saturn had its stride. As a huge fan of Mario 64 and of Sonic, I always wished that Sonic had sort of an equivalent. The first 3D Sonic game we really got was Sonic R, and yeah, that was a little disappointing compared to Mario 64, which was a little overwhelmingly fantastic. So when I saw screenshots of Jam, I was extremely excited. This thing is actually loaded with all kinds of goodies. There's this cool little card in the case that says, Cool kids know, it's not right to fight. Keep your wits. Choose to split. Sonic says no one wins with violence. This is the most powerful Pokemon card that I own now. But look at this! It's a hub world, it's 3D hub world with Sonic and Tails, and you can go around, it's 3D, and it's Mark. It's Sonic 64! For the most part, this is just a port of old Sonic games from the Genesis, 1, 2, 3, and Knuckles, but I still spent way too much money on getting this game anyway because by boogity, I want to play Mario 64, but it's Sonic. Ho ho ho! Italiano! Sonic Jam! Ooh. So you get the three basic Genesis titles, one, two, and three, and then and Knuckles. You guys want to see me play through all of them? Of course you don't. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, this- see, this is what I wanted. Okay, this- this camera is actually trash. Look at all this place so you can get checkpoints, because I- I almost died in between the last- uh, where I started and that. Oh, you can go in trees. This is so much better than Mario 64. It's cool. Sonic movie. What is this? Ah, uh, Tails? Where are you taking me? Whoa, look at all the room in there. So you can see... commercials. Oh. Oi, oi! He probably said, I gotta go to the fast. Whoa. Now, this is false advertising. Mega Drive Craft? I thought my Sega collection was complete. Hey, come on! Do it. Do it, bud. No one else gets this opportunity. You go for it. Sonic the Hedgehog 3. You know how many of us would die for Sonic to just pop up and be like, Hey, come on! Come on, DJ, come on! Pinball game in each of them. American man on funky action. Funky action. Mega drive kind of. Well, that one was really short and kind of underwhelming. Much liked my playthrough of Sonic Spinball. Triple Trouble! They're running that way, and there's Knuckles, and there's Fang, oh no, it's Mighty, and there's three of them, four of them, wait! Sonic and Tails 2 is also called Sonic Triple Trouble, but why is it called Sonic Triple Trouble if you can be Sonic and Tails and Knuckles and Fang? That's Sonic Quadruple Trouble. They have math in Japan, right? Why didn't they turn this into an anime? I literally liked that animation and that that commercial better than the entirety of Sonic Drift. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Sonic Segman Voice by Mike Pollock Hunch. Is this Sonic Adventure negative two? What in the world is this? Oh, it's Woody from Toy Story. Oh, this is just a Toy Story 4 trailer. What am I talking about? What is this? It looks amazing. Wait, what the? Oh. Aha. This is my favorite thing I've ever seen in my life. Sonic, run. The the bad pe the people are mad because Eggman. Wait, is that it? Oh. Wait, that's it. There's no part two. Eggman 1. Aha. So this is what we didn't get. Why didn't we get this? What's funny too is there was an unreleased Sonic game, I think it was for the Saturn, 
And it was pretty much like Mario 64. In fact, it was more like Galaxy, because there was anti-gravity and all this stuff. It was going to be something like this. Why did we never get that? This has confused me in many ways. The heck is this? Hall of Fame? Ah, it's fun facts. Action games took on a whole... Peter took on a whole new perspective of life when the phone constantly rung to interrupt everything. Giant Sonic Balloon at the Macy's Thanksgiving Parade. 65 foot long Sonic Balloon. Do you know how many fetishes people could, could accomplish having owned that? You could fit at least 20 people in there. 20 vor loving people. Oh yeah, Sonic 3D. We did get our first Sonic 3D game. Except it was just Sonic... 3D Blast. But they decided to call it Sonic 3D in other countries and put a 3D Sonic on the cover so that people like me... Ah. What's this? What? Alright. It's a thing. It's a game. It's a game thing. Easy. Character house. Oh, that sounds cool. Age 8. Strong point. He can fly with his tails. Driving vehicles and flying aircrafts. I can do that. Likes mint candy. Okay? Sure. Dislikes thunder. No, 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 no. He's afraid of lightning. I'm afraid of lightning! I know, game. You don't. Weak point. Girls. He's a shy guy. He dislikes strong sunshine. Can you feel sunshine? Does it brighten? Don't you know when girls talk to you? Knuckles will just run away. Sonic dislikes the word slow and dislikes tears. Elise, smile. Well, I certainly learned a lot in the character house today. Tails likes mint candy. Oh, I have missions. Yeah, three red points in one minute. What are red points? Can you feel so Bam. Okay, I kind of understand what I'm doing here now. 50 rings, one minute, let's go. Boom, world record. We're speedrunning this game, let's go. What do you got for me now? Touch miles. Got a minute 30 to say. If I recall, he's eight. Can we not word things in such a way? Thank you, Sonic. There you are, bud. Touch. Five blue points. What are blue points? What are blue points? Are these blue points? Hale, stop touching me! Boom, 59 seconds. Can't stop me. Seven secret cards. At least I actually know what those are. Six. Okay, there it is. Oh my gosh. Boom. Throw something at me. I'm so much better. Three balloons. What? There's balloons? I... Uh... Oh, there's a balloon? What? There is? There is? What? Where's the other ones? Boom. Bam. Come on. Alright, 100 rings, 2 minutes, 30 seconds. Let's go. I've been working for this. I've been training for this. My entire life. Boom. Oh my gosh, I've done it. Yes. The onion ring. What is it? What is it? Oh. My favorite. Unskippable credits. You know, it's worth it. For that little picture there. I'm not that salty. Alright, so... Yeah. Now, ordinarily I would probably stop here and say, well, you know what? Not bad. It was, it was what it was. It was short. It wasn't, you know, it's... And that would probably be the entirety of my, my analysis on the game. However, somebody on Twitter told me you can get out of the map. And I want to do that. You can apparently clip through and just go wherever you want. And thus it was that Peter tried it this for 35 minutes and never got it. But here's some footage of someone else getting it. Cool. 
great, fantastic. While you're watching him struggle, I'll give my final thoughts on the game. For some reason, one of the first games I got when I got my GameCube was Sonic Gems Collections and also Sonic Mega Collection. Both of those I really wanted somehow, I don't know if it was nostalgia or what, but I just wanted those old games to be playable on GameCube. Mostly Sonic R, Sonic the Fighters, stuff like that. You can get the other games, Sonic 1, 2, and 3, on pretty much every Sega console ever. And so for how much I liked those games just being random collections of things that already existed, I actually quite liked this one. I was pretty disappointed we never really got a true 3D Sonic game on the Saturn. Eventually we got Sonic Adventure, but I mean that was more of a GameCube contender than it was N64. But, I mean, I'm pretty thankful for that. It was a pretty great game. And as for this one, I think it's very cool. I like the graphic style. I like that it's a collection of games, but it has a whole hub world for you to explore. I think it's a lot better than just having menus with music, and then you just go and play games and unlock things by doing that. I mean, the missions are kind of whatever. Um, they're not exactly fun. They're not going to fulfill your Sonic needs. But hey, for a game that's just a port of old games, I mean, you get this whole other hub world. And to be honest, it's, it's pretty fun for what little it is. And if you can ever figure out how to get outside the map, I mean, that's another... I don't know, 20 seconds of fun you can have. But overall, I like the music, I love the hub world idea, I, I, I guess I like Sonic 1, 2, and 3, those are pretty darn good. So if you like any of those things, go ahead and check it out for yourself. That being said, don't do what I did and accidentally buy it brand new for way too much money because I didn't know you could get a used version on Amazon, I'm not super smart. Attention all epic Sonic gamers. For the past year, I have been building an army. An army to overthrow the humans so that we will no longer be in the background. We will no longer be behind the camera. We will be the camera. But I need your help. All we need is your parents' credit card number. Why do I even film for you?